I've oft had a hell of a time with my mental competition with John Keats. Um, I don't know if this is particular to me or if this is common to uh, common to those who fancy themselves artists in general. Um, but uh, I have uh, I, I have a I would say a personal rivalry with John Keats. Um, except I don't consider myself any kind of rival at all. Uh, there is, there's a phenomenon well known in my household and, and among my, uh, and among my friends, um, called the Keats phenomenon, uh, the Keats effect, which is, um, if I'm working on any kind of writing whatsoever, I am not allowed to read anything by John Keats. Just not allowed. Not allowed. Um, because I see a few snatches of his verse, um, even, uh, even a line, one line from John Keats, and I'm going to be stomping up one side of the house, down the other, saying, God damn it, I will never write anything this good, I might as well just throw away my pens, pick up a sledgehammer, get a job on the railroad, because there, at least, I will have contributed something to humanity, even if it's only a spike driven into, a gr uh, driven into the ground, which is more than I can say from my writing, because nothing I do is going to compare to... Nothing I do is going to compare to, to this, this one sentence that I read by John Keats. Um, and I go back and forth with that. Um, Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not too bad. But, but any time, uh, any time someone hearing or reading um, some of my poetry asks if I'm a John Keats fan, I, I just the mental tantrum begins.